Is anyone else's kid obsessed with turning the lights on and off? I think he just recently discovered outlets. <laughs> so he is like obsessed with turning turning everything on and off. It's dark. Alvi. Alvi. I don't know if you can see Abby. our little elf on the shelf thing. To be honest, I had no idea what elf on a shelf was until recently. And Abby. we just got one the other day at the store. So we've been doing it and he loves it. Huh? Where's Elfie? I want to do, ooh, it's bright, huh? I kind of want to do something fun today. There isn't really much to do because everything is closed. And I don't want to take Beckham like out and about around people and stuff. But I want to take him outside, maybe like on a walk or to the duck pond, something like that. Just to get him out of the house because... He gets so bored so easily, and when he gets bored, he starts acting very naughty. Just kidding. We didn't end up doing anything fun. We didn't end up going outside. It was way too cold and windy. And yeah, we kind of just sat on the couch, watched a few Christmas movies, and oh, sorry. <laughs> and just hung out. So um, Beckham is in the bath now, and it's almost time for his bedtime. Baby. <laughs> What's wrong? Is this your lion? Mickey Mouse? Is it? Is it? Is that taper? Let me open the curtains so we could get some light in here. <gasps> Whoa! Hi, baby. Ba babas. Babas, did you have a good nap? With all your stuffed animals. Sweet. Do you want a smoothie? Ma Ma Do you want a smoothie? Ma 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 More babas. I'm gonna make my smoothie now because I'm like a little hungry, but I don't really want food. I just kind of want a little something to fill me up. So I'm gonna start off by putting some almond milk in here. And I'm gonna make a pretty big one because Beckham likes to always drink my smoothie. So I'll give him a little bit. So I'll put a little bit of almond milk. And then of course my collagen from Timmy. I talked about this, um, I think last week in one of my videos, but I cannot live without this stuff. It is so, so good for you and great for your skin, your hair, your nails, your bones, your joints, all of the above. And also tastes really good by itself, but in a smoothie, you can't really taste it. It's acai berry, but I put lots of fruit and stuff in there. So it kind of just tastes like everything else that I put in there. So I'm gonna put some pineapple chunks and I need to go to Trader Joe's probably today to get more fruit and stuff because I'm almost out. And then I will put a banana. I'm gonna put a whole banana. 
I've been using these crushed ginger little cubes. This is the second one that I'm using now. I've already went through a whole, a whole one of these and I just love these so much. It's so convenient and you could add one or two. I just add one because I just like a little bit. If you put two, it could be, you know, a little strong for some people, but I just prefer one. Put a little bit of mango and then I need a spoon for my honey. If you guys are interested in getting some collagen or any of the products they have, they also have teas and they have um, skincare as well. I'll leave a code down below in case you're interested in any of their products. You could save some money on them. is my honey. I'll put a little bit more almond milk. So I always use my teamy bottle that it came with. And then I'll put the rest in like a glass or something like that, or I'll just store it in the fridge. Or I'll put it like in a little cup for Beckham if you want some. Do you want some smoothie? You wanna try it? Honestly, it kinda tastes like a pina colada. So it tastes really good. Whoops. Mmm. Beckham, try some smoothie. Here, you gotta drink some. Look, baby. <laughs> was it that good? Do you like it? Oh my god, that was so cute. I'm gonna do some skincare on AJ because when's the last time you've done skincare? Never. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. He does not do anything to his skin. He probably uses his shampoo to wash his face. I have so. a face, face wash <clears throat> that I use in the you shower. You never use it. <laughs> I bought him a face wash a year ago and it's still full. It's not full. Okay, That's so we're going to start off with the but facial. But I have good skin too though. That's the thing. He does. He has great skin. That's why he thinks he doesn't have to do anything. But when you're 50 years old and your skin is all wrinkly, you're gonna wish I would have taught you skincare. So we're gonna start off with the facial radiance pads. This is from First Aid Beauty, and this is going to exfoliate your skin. Flip this up a little bit. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so your face is very dry. I just told you my whole body's dry right now. Yeah. It's not always That's why dry. you gotta moisturize. You gotta get, especially where you pluck your eyebrows, because that's why you get those little bumps. You gotta get the nose, get the blackheads. And this is just gonna take off dead skin cells. You wanna get in the beard. <laughs> Here's one of your makeup brushes. I know, I gave him that one to play with. Oh, yeah, like, um, is making all kinds of noises. He's in the shower playing with stuff. All right, you wanna make sure to go down the neck. It's kind of burns. Does it? Well, it kind of does. Mm -hmm. There's some on your face. Oh, well. Oh, what is that? Cheese. <laughs> it's not cheese. cheese. It's part of my smoothie. <clears throat> no, okay. My face feels weird. Weird? Okay. Next, we are going to do a serum. This is Protect and Perfect Intense, Inven Intense Advanced Serum. So, you want to do serums before like lotions and creams because this, you want to do lighter consistencies first. Doesn't that feel nice? Mm. I guess. 
you massage my face feels nice, but okay. I wouldn't say the cream feels nice. Okay, so the serum just soaks right in, and then we're gonna do the ultra repair cream. And this is actually good for eczema, see? Eczema and irritation and itching. Oh, uh -oh. I have eczema. Uh -oh. Here. Mm. Just poured out shampoo. Or whatever is it there. We'll put that in the shower. We don't put that in the So this is pretty thick stuff, but it really does soak into your skin. <laughs> You wanna, do you ever put lotion like in your beard? Mm hmm Okay. And I have a, a cream too. A cream? Mm -hmm. Or something. <laughs> See, I don't even know. You got it for me. Uh, a lotion? Oh. While it's in your drawer? Yeah, it's a beard scruff. Something. Oh, okay. <laughs> you gotta do the eyebrows up and like that. And you're all fluffy. You okay. can like them. Like you're snorting something. Okay, how do you feel? That was the skin. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Pretty simple. Exfoliate, moisturize, and put on. I don't notice a difference. Cream. Well, yeah, you're not going to notice a difference in two seconds. You have to let it sit throughout the day and you have to like keep using it every day and then you'll notice a huge difference. You know what? My skin does feel nice. See? I told you. That's just a lot of stuff. And then you're supposed to also put, um, which I hadn't really been doing this until recently, but I always neglect like my neck and you're supposed to be treating your neck the same as you do your face because your neck is the first um, place in your body to show aging. What is that? It's like a black mark. Can you see that? It's a hickey. No, it's not. It's like probably Beckham, but um, so I've been putting like moisturizer and stuff, making sure to put serums and stuff on my neck, especially at night, like I will lather it on there. And I've noticed such a huge difference. It just feels like so smooth. But yeah, we'll, we'll get an update in a few hours. How you feel? Finally getting out of the house. I feel like, I don't know, I was just getting very depressed. drove all the way here so I'm just gonna have to be patient. I'm gonna make a charcuterie board tonight so I got some stuff for that. I got these they're like I forgot what they're called something red berries but a bunch of them are already falling off so I'm gonna put those in like a cute vase later. I've had these baby's breath in here for so long and they're actually still like going strong but they just look not as vibrant as they once looked so oops. i'm gonna be replacing them with those and then i got some red roses i just thought for christmas for december that these would look so pretty so i'm gonna put these in my vase on the counter and then i'll put some in our room a little bit in my office and then some in the bathroom as well I got some juice for Beckham. So one trick that I do with Beckham, since juice does have a lot of sugar and stuff, I always water it down like tremendously and he still loves it. So this one is really good. It's called Country Peach. I got some more little crackers. These are sweet potato crackers and they are gluten-free and they are so good. 
I got a bottle of wine. I wanted a sweet wine, so hopefully this one is sweet enough. But it is Charles Shaw, and it's a Chardonnay. And this was only like $3. I couldn't believe how cheap it was. So hopefully it doesn't give me a hangover tomorrow. I got my blueberry lavender almond milk, which is my absolute favorite. I got some salsa. This is the cowboy, yeah, cowboy caviar. And I've never tried this, but one of my friends really loves it. So I'm excited to try it. Okay, next bag. I got some butter lettuce. Um, Beckham actually really loves salad, so I got him this. I got some spinach because we were all out and I needed some for um, our smoothies and like quesadillas and stuff like that. I got some mini plain bagels and that just reminded me I was supposed to get cream cheese and I hope I have some in my fridge because if not, that's really gonna suck. I have some broccoli that I want to make in the oven. I actually have like a little recipe that makes the broccoli so good and it's so simple. I'll show it with, or I'll share it with you guys whenever I do make that. I got some meat for the charcuterie board. This has, um, I'm not going to try and say all those, but just some different types of meat for that. I got my favorite Brookies. These are so good from if you haven't already. I got some oatmeal because Beckham eats oatmeal practically every morning. It's like the only breakfast that he wants to eat. This is maple and brown sugar instant oatmeal and with whole grain oats. I got some cilantro dressing. I love cilantro so i don't know this just sounded good to me honestly i'm pretty darn hungry which is probably not a good thing going to trader joe's when i'm hungry because i feel like i just wanted to buy everything i got some pineapple cottage cheese i actually just got one of these for beckham to try um i don't think he's ever tried cottage cheese so we'll see if he likes that I got two different types of cheese for the cheese board tonight. This one is Toscano cheese with black pepper. It just sounds really good and looks really good. And then this is Asiago with rosemary and olive oil. This is my favorite cheese in the whole world. It's so, so, so good. I swear I could probably eat this whole block. And last but not least, got some more opal apples. These are so good and so sweet. And that is it. I will film in a bit making my charcuterie board or I'll just show you guys after I make it. went to go pick up Beckham for my mom's and I want to show you guys the cutest thing that she got me. My mom is like the best gift giver always. She always gives like the best gifts. So it's Estee Lauder. Oops, I'm trying to open this with one hand. And oh my god, how cute is this? It's an advent calendar. So for Christmas, you're supposed to like, count down the days. So you have to find number one. And where's number one? And I think today is the fifth. I'm losing track of my days, honestly. So she just gave this to me today. So I get to open one through five. So one is this little anti-aging cream. 
and then two. I already opened this one. <laughs> it's a little mini red lipstick, like the most beautiful red. And I don't have any red lipstick, so I'm excited for that. And then three. This is, turn it around. This is an advanced night repair eye cream, which is so good. I've had that in the past. And then four. Four is this gentle eye makeup remover. I'm so excited because I just need a good eye makeup remover when I wear mascara. And then five is down here. Oui, I'm trying to open this. Sorry, I need both hands. So five is this little eyeshadow palette. Oh, hi Dixie. Uh, which is so cute and these are so my colors. I'm so excited. This is seriously the cutest thing ever. So I could only go up to five. Tomorrow is the sixth. So then I will open box number six for you guys. Is that six? Yeah. So this will be six. But I just thought that this is the cutest little gift that you could give anyone. And I don't know if they're still selling them. I'll try and find it and link it for you guys. Uh, to be honest, I don't even know where she bought this, but it's so cute and I love it. And that's what it looks like. <laughs> tea? That's not tea, <laughs> You can't have that. You want some tea? 